Has anyone ever asked you one of these type of questions? What are you doing with your life? Where are you at now? Where do you want to end up? Although rather simple, these questions can prove to be some of the more difficult questions to answer truthfully. The way that you decide how to live your life is through goals. What are your goals in life? Not very many people write down their goals. However, those that do typically are more successful in life. Why is that? The act of writing things down forces your brain to think about it more slowly. Most people are able to think faster than they can write, so forcing your brain to slow down will naturally make you more attentive to details. It also gives your brain more time to think about what a certain goal actually requires. Goals allow you to mold your own life. Instead of living life by random chance, you can choose what you want to be in life and make your own decisions. I know some people don't like to make decisions, but if you don't, then you should probably face the reality that you're giving up control of your life to chance. If you've ever seen Dark Knight, you know how well that turns out. So what kind of goals should I make? There are four types of goals I would recommend. Daily slash weekly, semester or short term, intermediate, one to three years, and long term, out ten years or more. Naturally, the farther out you go, the more abstract the goals will be. For example, some of my long-term goals are to have a successful career in transportation research, to have a family with kids, and to live a balanced life. There are many more details that could go into each of those goals, but I don't worry about them yet. These types of goals are usually deeply ingrained within each of us, which is why many people don't write them down, but trust me, writing them down will still help you attain them. Your intermediate goals should directly lead to your long-term goals. If I want to have a career in transportation research, I better make sure that I finish my PhD in a timely manner. If I want a family, I should probably get married at some point. This is where having your long-term goals written down really helps out. If you have an intermediate goal that doesn't contribute to any of your long-term goals, you'll want to reconsider. Likewise, if you have a long-term goal, but don't have anything on your short-term goals that get you any closer, you might as well accept that your goal is really just a fantasy. When you think about a short-term goal, you may be inclined to think something like a couple days out. But think about the big picture of your entire life. Even if you're not in school, the timeline of a semester goal is still a useful measurement. These goals are the ones that I struggle with most. I think it may be because we grow up being fed these goals until we graduate college. You show up on the first day of class and the professor hands us the syllabus and tells us what we are going to be doing for the next four months. So naturally, my short-term goals usually take the form of wanting to get a certain grade, if I even think about it that hard. In my life now, most of what I do is based on my research project. In my case, I am under contract to give quarterly progress reports. My short-term goals set on January 1st are molded into deciding what I want to get into my March progress report. This helps keep me focused on my weekly tasks. Another one of my short-term goals, which feeds into my intermediate goal of establishing equity, i.e. buying a house or a condo, and a long-term goal of providing for a family, is to establish a brokerage account. I won't go into the details in this video, but it's essentially building a budget and allocating the extra income into investments that will pay out on a timeline that I want. Daily and weekly goals are the specifics of how we live our life. For example, at the beginning of each semester when I am revisiting my short-term goals, I make a general week timeline. In this, I set a goal for each week that will help me end up where I want. This includes looking at my syllabus and putting down major project deadlines, what I call fixed goals. These goals are fixed because I cannot alter the timeline. This gives me a very good idea about when my difficult weeks are going to be. For example, last semester both of my classes had a project due the week of March 6th. Seeing this on paper helped me to allocate what I call my elective weekly goals. These are the stepping stones that help me decide how I'm going to reach my short-term goals. Now let's talk more about weekly goals. Every week I have certain events that are repeating, such as classes, meetings, social and church events, and swimming. Since I have a short-term swimming goal, I make sure that it's on the calendar so that I know I will always go once a week. Don't overlook the importance of scheduling things you love before anything else. If you never schedule it, you won't do it until you break down. Then you'll binge and you won't even enjoy it. This means you'll be living your life subject to impulse, which isn't the most fulfilling way. At the beginning of each week, I look at anything from my previous week that I need more time to complete, and decide to either put it on my next week put it off into the future, or completely drop it. I then look at my goals for the week, and based on how much time I think I will take, I make an event on my calendar. I always end up moving it or breaking it up into smaller parts, but having it on my calendar helps my mind keep track so I don't overbook myself. If my week already looks full or light, I can decide throughout the week how I want to adjust my goals. Remember that you have a limited amount of time in each week. There is nothing you can do to increase that time. 
Recognize that if you choose to allocate more of your attention to one thing, you have to pull it from something else, which usually ends up being sleep. The desire to get more done is not a bad thing, it is what drives us to find more efficient ways to do things. Be creative, but be reasonable. So there you have it. What are some of your goals? Long term, intermediate, short term, or weekly? Leave a comment below. If you found this video interesting, go ahead and like and subscribe.